In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on March 8, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Vegas Golden Knights vs Philadelphia Flyers The Vegas Golden Knights face the Philadelphia Flyers with both teams heading in opposite directions this season. The Golden Knights have won 32 of their 57 games including back-to-back -back games while the Flyers have won only 17 of their 55 games with only two wins in their last 10 games. The Golden Knights look to make up ground in the Pacific Division while the Flyers hope to climb out of last place in the Metropolitan Division and the upcoming game should be a good one as a result. There's a bit of a difference in the power play percentage this season as the Flyers are 30th in the sport with a 13.8 power play percentage while the Golden Knights are tied for 21st in the NHL with an 18.1 power play percentage so far. Even on the defensive side of the ice as Vegas are allowing three goals in their last five games while Philly is giving up 3.7 goals in their previous three games. The road team has won in five of the previous seven games against one another so go with the Vegas Golden Knights to win here. In Vegas's 57 games, the over has hit in over half of their games, going 31 to 24 to 2. So far, taking the over when the Golden Knights are playing away from home has been a good bet with an over under record of 13 to 11 to 1. On the season, 58% of Vegas's games have gone for at least 6 goals or more with 52% of the scoring coming from the Golden Knights. In Philadelphia's 55 games, the over has hit in over half of their games, going 27 to 27 to 1. So far, taking the over when the Flyers are playing at home has been a good bet with an over-under record of 18 to 12. On the season, 53% of Philadelphia's games have gone for at least six goals or more, with 44% of the scoring coming from the Flyers. Looking at the last couple of games, these offenses have been able to score as the Golden Knights as they are averaging three goals in their last four games while the Flyers are scoring four goals in their previous two games. These teams combined for seven goals in the last matchup against one another. The over has hit in four of the previous five games against one another, so over the projected total is our full game total pick. Florida Panthers vs. Pittsburgh Penguins The Florida Panthers face the Pittsburgh Penguins with both teams playing great this season. The Panthers have won 38 of their 56 games, including their last three games, while the Penguins have won 34 of their 57 games this season. The Panthers are looking to remain in first place in the Atlantic Division, while the Penguins look to leap into first place in the Metropolitan Division and the upcoming game should be a good one as a result. The Pittsburgh Penguins have found new life over the past couple of weeks, and it seems as if they were just a victim of some tough luck throughout the early part of the season. The Penguins have very few flaws as a team on both ends of the ice and are quietly one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference who have started winning games in bunches. Goaltender Tristan Jerry is a huge reason for that success, as he posts a 27-11-6 record with a 2.3 goals against average and .921 save percentage. Jerry will face a huge test in this matchup trying to slow down the league's best scoring offense in the Panthers but he's coming off an impressive win where he allowed just one goal against the dangerous Tampa Bay Lightning offense. Not only does Jerry give the Penguins a great chance to win this game, but the Penguins should also be able to exploit an average Panthers defense. An experienced group of forwards led by Sidney Crosby have found their offensive rhythm over their recent stretch of games and should be able to carry that momentum into this game as well, especially with the Panthers coming into this game after playing last night. Even though they skated to an easy win over the Sabres and rested starting goaltenders Sergei Bobrovsky in preparation for this game in Pittsburgh. The Penguins need to use their fresher legs to their advantage and are in great shape to pick up their second win of the season against the Panthers on home ice. Heading into this matchup, the Penguins have been playing well on offense, surpassing their season average four times over their past five games. On the other side, Florida has accomplished that feat just once. Look for this to be a close contest with Pittsburgh pulling out the home win. So the Pittsburgh Penguins' money line is our full game side pick. 
So far, taking the over when the Panthers are playing away from home has been a good bet with an over-under record of 12-12. On the season, 69% of Florida's games have gone for at least six goals or more, with 58% of the scoring coming from the Panthers. In Pittsburgh's 57 games, the over has hit in over half of their games, going 28-28-1. So far, taking the over when the Penguins are playing at home has been a good bet with an over-under record of 16-12. On the season, 54% of Pittsburgh's games have gone for at least six goals or more, with 55% of the scoring coming from the Penguins. Look for this matchup to be a high-scoring affair, surpassing the posted over-under line. So over the projected total is our full game total pick. Arizona Coyotes vs. Detroit Red Wings The Arizona Coyotes face the Detroit Red Wings with both teams looking to improve in rough seasons. The Coyotes have only won 16 of their 55 games while the Red Wings have won only 24 of their 56 games and have lost back-to-back -back games. The Coyotes are looking to climb out of last place in the Central Division while the Red Wings look to make up ground in the Atlantic Division and the upcoming game should be a good one as a result. Arizona has been the worst team in the Western Conference, recording the least number of points in the conference. They rank 29th in goals against per game and 31st in shots against per game. Detroit has young talent on offense to score on the Coyotes. Dylan Larkin leads the Wings with 56 points and he has one point or more in seven out of his last nine games. Lucas Raymond is tied for first in points third in goals, and tied for second in assists among all rookies in the league. Moritz Sater has five goals and 36 assists, and he is third in points and first in assists among all rookies in the league. Detroit will be able to score on Arizona, and with home ice advantage, they will win this game. So the Detroit Red Wings' money line is our full game side pick. Both teams have been good on offense lately and have struggled all season to keep the puck out of the net. Arizona scored three goals or more in seven out of the last nine games. They rank 29th in goals against per game and 31st in shots against per game. Detroit scored three goals or more in seven out of the last 10 games. They rank 30th in goals against per game and 25th in shots against per game. Detroit is averaging 3.3 goals per game over the last 10 games against the Coyotes. The over is 6-3 with one game being a push over the last 10 meetings between these two teams. Both teams have been led by their offenses, especially in recent games, and both forward units look to step up and find the back of the net throughout the game. The Coyotes should build off an eight-goal game and create plenty of scoring chances with Clayton Keller, Lawson Kraus, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating quick shots on the odd man rush against a Red Wings defense that is allowing 3.61 goals per game. The Red Wings, meanwhile, should run up the score against a Coyotes defense that is allowing 3.58 goals per game with Dylan Larkin. Tyler Bertuzzi, Lucas Raymond, and the rest of the forward unit crashing the net on the odd man rush and creating open shots with great puck movement in the offensive zone. This will be a higher scoring game. So over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now. So if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.